If we're being real, the NBA season has finally kicked off. Today, I heard an interesting discussion between Spencer Dinwiddie and Patrick Beverly. They were on a podcast. What were they talking about? Superstars. Nothing better than a couple of middle of the road guys talking about two superstars. Dang, that hurts, man. That, that shot's fired, man. Was that oh, accurate, though? You know. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. <laughs> okay. So my first question for you is, how many superstars do you think are in the NBA? And what do you classify a superstar as? Those are two important questions. Okay, let me think about this for a second. So in order to be a superstar, I think you gotta be by far the best person on your team. I don't think a lot of teams have two superstars. There can be a superstar and all-star potentially, but we're talking superstars. Right, so, in general, like, so when I, I mean, think of, Two superstars would be like Kobe and Shaq. Yeah, like they're they're very yeah, rare. It can happen. But maybe it's like rare. D- Dwayne Wade and and uh, LeBron James, right? Yep. yep. Rare instances, not super. And yeah. every team does not have a superstar. Right. Rare teams have two. I mean, I'm trying to think in the NBA right now. Who would I consider a superstar? Yeah. So right. guys like Joker, mm-hmm. Giannis. Mm-hmm. I still consider Steph. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay, we gotta consider LeBron just based on how okay. who he is right now. He's declining, but yeah, um, KD still a superstar. Okay, so is that five right now? It's five. I, I mean, I'm gonna say at least ten. Probably name another five. I think. Oh wow, that's surprising. I, I don't think I don't think more than like I don't think more than ten though. Okay, so I'm saying, what do you I'm classify saying, superstar as? So superstar would be best guy on the team by far. Okay, again, rare there's two, um, and I would consider a superstar, a guy who could be the number one on the team to win a championship. That okay. has to be that. Okay. That and enough? That, that's good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> that's good enough for me. Can I hear yes. what these guys say? Because I've already trash-talked them, so now i got to see if I feel stupid after that comment. <laughs> we're going to play this. We'll, uh, we can't really show it to you, unfortunately. But we're going to play this, and then we'll just describe what happens here in a second. The fans say there's like 40 superstars. No. They say there's like five. Five. Because to us... Straight up, a superstar is I'm here, we win. So if you define it as that, who would you say is a superstar? Jokic, superstar, okay. Giannis, okay. superstar. Embiid, superstar. LeBron James. Well, LeBron, obviously we don't know because it's your okay. team, but in general, yes. in general, yes. Steph, yes. Steph. Okay. KD. KD. Kawhi. Luca. Superstar. Maybe Jason Taylor. But that's but that's on a, a that's maybe. That's maybe we talking about definite house. We're talking about I'm here, we win, and we go into likely conference finals. Yeah. So now we're past five. Okay, okay. We're but still, we're, we ain't we're, at forty. We're not, 40. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not. We're not rolling through a list where we're like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Well, you yeah. don't even have enough to really put on the same team at that point. The fans say that. All right, sweet, uh, dude. Actually, my my list is pretty good. I was saying about ten. So in the video, they talked about the fans are talking that there are 40 superstars in the league. Which I've never heard a single fan ever say that. So I don't know where they're getting that from. No. And if you're out there <laughs> thinking that, get real. Like, if we put any of the people in the league against some college kids or high school kids, then right there, a superstar, they're good. But we're talking about NBA versus NBA player. So there are not 40 superstars. I said 10. I actually feel good about that right now. You know, they talked about Embiid, which I didn't talk about. They said Jason Tatum's on the brink, which, I, you know, I would agree with. Because, frankly, they described it as, you're on the team, we win the game. You're playing, we win. They mentioned Kawhi and some other things like that. I mean, Kawhi's hurt, so. Yeah, Kawhi's hurt. You know, but, yeah. yeah. But, I, you know, yeah. What are your thoughts on this video? There's not 10. You're lucky if there's four. Oh, man. You think four? There are stars, Okay. And then there are superstars. The superstars are the one who elevate their team, just like we talked about, to the next level. Joel Embiid has never gotten to an Eastern Conference championship. Eh, he's not on there. No. I, oh, yeah, you're right. Jason Tatum. Look, you could say he got to the finals. You don't have to convince me about Jason yeah. Tatum. <laughs> Jason Tatum's not on there. Okay. KD. KD hasn't won a thing. Not a thing. Unless he has an absolutely stacked team. Is he a superstar? Is he a guy that you can go and say he's going to get us to the NBA championship and win it for us? He hasn't won a thing unless he was on the most overpowered team in the league in the Warriors. It's another guy off there. Okay, LeBron right now, I don't think you can say that about him. He doesn't even want to be the best guy on the team. If the Lakers are going to do anything, it's going to be Anthony Davis. 
He's not on there. Luca, I love me some Luca. He's not a superstar. He's a really good player. He's a star. He hasn't proven that he can do it when it matters most. Now, his team isn't exactly great around him. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But he also doesn't necessarily... He may have to change his game up, we'll just say. There's, you know, people talking. He oh. may have to change his bit game up. Right. I want to hear your four. See, obviously... I don't even think there is four. <laughs> well, so you're just talking to yourself. Joker? Giannis? You got, okay. Giannis, one healthy. Yep. He's up there. Jokic? Yep. One healthy. is up there. Curry? One healthy. is up there. He's proven he can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we know he's not the guy to take the last shot. Whatever. Let's... Ignore that. He's the main he's, guy. He's, he's the main, the main guy, guy on the team for everything except the last 30 seconds of the game. He did it before KD. He did it after KD. He's up there. Yeah. And Clay obviously helps in that occasion, but we're not saying you can't have a star with a superstar. I don't think there's a fourth. Name me a fourth. Not now. So a couple of years ago, you throw LeBron in there. 100%. Okay. Yeah, LeBron would be in there. 100%, okay. obviously. Yeah. Okay. No, but in that. each generation, there's only a couple. There's only a couple. At a, there's talking five. There's not five. There's only a couple that you can look at and be like, yeah, he's the guy. I can't put Kawhi. I know Kawhi. Kawhi, if healthy, maybe, but he hasn't been healthy, so we can't have that. It's discussion. been a year. If we're not putting LeBron in now, for right. we can't throw Kawhi in. That's ridiculous. But I mean, think of the 80s. Okay. There was Bird. Yep. There was Magic. Yep. Okay. Those were the superstars. And obviously, Kareem Jules Javar was still really good, but those two were the superstars. Okay. And then in the late 80s, less Bird, right? Then comes Isaiah Thomas. So then it was Isaiah Thomas and Magic, okay? And then there was Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan comes into it, and you could say that he was a superstar before that. Whatever, that's fine, right? But then Michael Jordan. But then guess what? Isaiah Thomas and Magic Johnson fall off, obviously. So then there was Michael Jordan for the 90s, okay? And then you had Kobe and, like, what, Duncan? And then LeBron and Shaq? Right, so like that was a that was full up, but then we had LeBron and Curry. Like, there's not there hasn't been a time where there's more than five. There's not five right now. There can't be because none of them, in my opinion, superstar is a guy that you say he's the guy who's going to get me to a championship. And there's only two of them. Typically, there's two, one on each side. Typically, there's two that you sit there. No, and, I agree. Yeah. I actually agree with exactly what you're saying. I changed my stance on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's. Under five, I'll say, consistently in the NBA, under five per year. Yeah. It's like, okay, in the NFL, there was Brady, right? Brady was the greatest of all time. But everybody else, they could be really good quarterbacks. You can't call them superstars. It's just like there's only a couple guys, a handful of guys in the NFL and the NBA that you can sit there and be like, he's a guy who's going to get us to a championship. There's not that many in the NBA. Sorry. It's a, the word is overplayed. The word is overplayed, yes. Yeah. They are stars. They're not superstars. Because superstars, I agree. They have to be the guy who's going to be able to get you a championship. Yeah. I know. I agree with that. I agree with that. I think I was mixing up as well. Superstars and stars. But every team does not have a superstar. There's only a couple in the league. The rest just there have stars. There only can be a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like... Yeah. And the second there's 40 superstars, or just say 10, how I said earlier, I think there was 10 or under. Mm-hmm. If there are 10... That's not true because there really would only be a couple that are better than all 10 of them making those guys the superstars. Yeah. And the other guys would just be stars. Yeah, because there would be a consistent one or two that propels their team into the next level. Yep. And if you're talking superstar, has to be the top dogs only. Has to be the top dogs only. I'm with it. You convinced me. All right. Awesome. With that being said, that's it for today. Let us know what you guys think. Remember to like, subscribe, share it with a friend, comment down below. Until next time, keep it real.